One thing I love about inflatable boats, and especially inflatable kayaks, is just the accessibility and ease of getting on the water, even for a complete novice. You know, I've never met anyone who tried paddling just that one time and said, uh, you know, this isn't for me, I'm gonna try golf or whatever instead. Everyone who tries it gets the bug. Every time I take friends out on the river, I'm guaranteed to get a call from them the next week saying they went ahead and bought a boat or a paddleboard. Every time. Many people's first boat will be an Intex. They're one of, if not the world's best-selling inflatable brands. If you go to Amazon and type in inflatable kayak, Intex is the first thing you'll see. They have three different levels, if you like. Today, I'm looking at their premium kayak, the Excursion Pro. Now, straight off the bat, price. Usually these boats are around £370 for the two-seater version, which is the one we're looking at today. That includes a number of accessories, so two sets of paddles, a pump, pressure gauge, accessories mount, and carrying bag. At the moment, interestingly, these boats are also listed at a reduced rate on Amazon at £300. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I can't see the difference between the two listings or why there are two different prices. I think it might be because there's a bit of a price war in the water sports market going on this summer. So perhaps Intex are just throwing this offer out. But you might be watching this video sometime in the future, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if prices for inflatable kayaks in general go either up or down. Setting up the boat is very quick and easy. I didn't even need to look at any instructions and was ready and on the water in less than 10 minutes. And that was my first time. Inflating is a little bit complicated. You basically have to pump up the chambers, then check with the included pressure gauge. If you've overpumped, you can release some air through the gauge itself. If you are under, you have to take it out, put the pump back in, pump a bit more, then check again. I found this a little bit fiddly and it's one extra small item to look after and try not to lose. But you can, of course, buy aftermarket pumps with an inbuilt gauge. The boat also comes with sturdy foot pegs. A little tip for those, by the way, is to put them in position before you inflate the boat. Makes it a bit easier. The boat features a single skeg attachment for tracking. It comes with a generously sized skeg, but also it comes with a shorter, shallow water skeg. I think this is an excellent feature. The skegs have a one-piece incorporated locking mechanism. The paddles are five-part collapsible. Made of aluminium and a lightweight but hard plastic, they are light to carry and handle, but strong enough for powerful strokes in the water. I'm not usually a fan of free paddles that come with boats. They're usually of lower quality than standalone products. But I was impressed with the blade size. I'd estimate these are the equivalent of some of the basic 25 pound paddles you see on Amazon. There are also two mounting points for rod holders, fishing accessories, but also you can use these for things like camera mounts, lighting, visibility markers, that sort of thing. There are plenty of D-rings and mounting points for things like mooring lines and attachments, and uh, there are very sturdy rope grab handles at each side of both the bow and the stern. So lots of things to grab onto if you need to get back in or if you need to lash something to the boat or raft boats together. Launching, entering and exiting this boat is a breeze. It's buoyant and stable enough to not give you any trouble getting in. Just don't be too hasty and remember three points of contact at all times. The boat is light as a feather, so portaging is easy and is aided by these extremely tough bow and stern handles. Stability on the water was very impressive. I had a lot of confidence breaking through the waves and making turns. It's low pressure, but extremely buoyant. This is probably not a boat for going out in really windy conditions, but on calm waters, in good weather, and with occasional, you know, inevitable gusts, you'll be fine. Turning, reversing, draw strokes, all of that felt really good. It's a responsive craft. It's actually quite fun bobbing about on the waves. Just a quick 180 there. I feel like I've got good control of the boat. I've got good center of gravity here and I can go where I want to. I can point it where I want to go, even with a bit of uh, wind and some, some side gusts here. It's good. Tracking, which is the technical term for how straight the boat glides through the water, felt good in the boat, but it was only when reviewing the drone footage that I realized how that single skeg really does affect tracking. Other boats at this price range usually have three skegs, which helps keep the boat much straighter going through the water. The Excursion Pro has a bit of a swagger to it, it sort of swims side to side. This definitely knocks off a few points in my view. 
As with all inflatables, the boat sits on rather than in the water, and you sit pretty high up on the water to compared to, say, rigid boats. That's just the way it is with inflatables. The floor is sturdy, but I'm not sure how suitable it is for standing up in. This is a fishing kayak, but I think you'd be better seated. It's not as stiff as, say, a drop-stitch kayak. This is obviously designed with people who like to fish in mind, uh, with the rod attachments and you know, lots of places to stow or lash your equipment. I don't fish, so please don't ask me any fishing uh, questions in the comments, because I won't know what I'm talking about. I've tried some sea fishing once. I did enjoy it, actually, but I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just like on my own, just trying to figure it all out. You know, uh, I didn't have anyone teaching me or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, so I, I know someone, uh, one of my previous videos where I mentioned I don't fish was like, it's very di it's a very disappointed, <laughs> sad comment the, about the fact that I don't fish. So um, yeah, I should give it a go at some point, I think. You know, another, another way of enjoying the water, isn't it? As I said, you can configure this as a one or two seater boat. You can even comfortably and safely take two adults and a child too. As well as the inflatable seats with adjustable backrests, there is a booster seat which I use to raise the height of the main seat when paddling solo. Although this meant I sat higher up, it felt more comfortable to me, a bit easier on the abs. So about the seat comfort, you know, because that is a question that, that people do ask. I think, you know, it's, it's basic. It doesn't come with a fancy seat or anything like that. I wouldn't expect it to at that price. You have got that lumbar support and it is adjustable. And um, I'm comfortable, yeah. It seems sturdy and well constructed, but I was pretty surprised to find the warranty is only 90 days, compared to a lot of the competition that measure their warranties in years, not days. I mean, I think the boat itself feels quite rugged, um, and you know, this will last a long time if you look after it. Uh, some of the accessories that come with it, I think if you really look after them and aren't using it you know, every single weekend, then sure, you'll you know, get some longevity out of it. But I, some of those accessories, like the pump, maybe the paddle as well, yeah, might not last as long as the boat. I can see people getting these and eventually upgrading the paddles, probably the pump as well, and almost certainly the bag that it comes with. As the boat ages, you can order replacement parts from Intex's website. It seemed reasonably priced and well stocked. You do have to ship from the US though. Now let's talk about that carrying bag. It's certainly large enough to carry everything, but it's very basic. It's not a backpack, which isn't so bad if there are two of you and you can carry a handle each, but if you're on your own, it can be a bit of a struggle. It's very lightweight, not particularly sturdy. They are a bit notorious, actually. I've had friends who own Intex boats text me asking for recommendations for a kayak bag because the Intex ones are well, you know. Um, I've also heard of people in the Intex users group talk about using an old wheeled suitcase instead, uh, which I think is a great idea. You see, this is the thing about trying to include everything in one package. The more you try to include, the more you have to find savings to keep the whole thing reasonably priced, and here it's the bag that gets compromised. In conclusion, I think this is definitely a flagship craft for Intex's budget inflatable kayak series. £370 might be a few more pennies than I would value it at, mainly because of the accessories that come with it, such as the pump, the paddles, the bag. They just don't quite match the more premium quality of the boat itself, in my opinion. But at this lower offer of £300, if you can get it, I think that's much more persuading, and you'd be getting a good boat for the money. It's great for recreational kayaking, a spot of fishing, short distance weekend adventures, and it's also good for couples and small families who want something a little bit more sturdy and practical than Intex's cheaper K1 and K2 boats. This has been something of a gateway boat for many people who have then got into kayaking and boating and having spent some time with it this last week, it's easy to see why. Hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If so, hit that like button. Likes are free, but really help out the channel. Uh, check out some of my other kayak reviews and comparison videos. But if you've already got your heart set on the Excursion Pro, I'll leave a link in the description. Oh, so tiny. <laughs>